Hi there. I'm leadership coach Cade Murphy from Vancouver, British Columbia, and I'm here to share with you one of my top strategies for trying something new or for those times when you're working towards your goals but you feel like you've hit a bit of a road bump or a bit of resistance and you're not quite making the progress that you'd like to be making towards those goals. And this, this strategy I like to call high marking. Now I'm going to share with you a little bit about what high marking is and how to use it and also the times when it's best to use high marking and the times when maybe it's not the right approach. You know, it's good to have these tools and these strategies, but they don't work all the time. So you need to be mindful of that. So high marking actually originates out of the world of snowmobiling. You know, Vancouver, British Columbia, are really in the heart of a lot of snowmobiling country. And it's something, it's a pastime of mine that I've really enjoyed and, you know, something I like to relate to my coaching as often as I can. So high marking comes from this idea of these guys that get together at a huge mountain like Whistler and their goal is to make it as far up the mountain as possible with their snowmobile. Now how they do that is one guy or, or one gal will pick a line and they'll head up the mountain full, full throttle as hard as they can go, as hard as they can go and they'll get as high as they can and they'll have to come back down and the next person's going to try to do the same thing using a different path. So you'll never see the two of them go up the same path. They always pick a new strategy. And by doing this, either they make it further or they don't make it as far. And then at the end of it, they all know where the best line would have been to get as far as possible. How this applies to your personal life or to your business is when we encounter a new problem or maybe we're hitting resistance to a problem, we don't really know what our best strategies are. High marking allows us to try a bunch of different approaches, assess how, how good they were, and then pick the one that's going to lead to the most success for you and implement that as an ongoing strategy. So how this might apply, you know, it, it applies to any different business setting and, and personal setting as well, but let's just look, you know, for a start at weight loss. Uh, and we'll also take a look at, you know, getting f connections on LinkedIn. For weight loss, you know, you might have this goal, oh, okay, I want to get to the gym, or, or I want to lose weight. But you don't know the best way to do that. You, okay, I just need to go to the gym, I, I need to go to the gym five times a week, and this is what it's going to look like. And what happens over the week is maybe you go once and then you stop, because there's some resistance, that's not a good approach for you. You know, you've set the bar too high maybe, and now you don't think you're gonna make that goal, you quit. High marking takes the bar right out of the equation for the start. So what high marking allows you to do is, okay, here's five different scenarios, I'm gonna try each. I'm gonna try going first thing in the morning, I'm gonna try in the afternoon, I'm gonna try at night, I'm gonna try for one, you know, two hour window, or I'm gonna try for four 30 minute windows, let's say. You know, by checking all of these different scenarios, you can see which ones are actually going to work best for you in the current context of your life. How this might apply to business, um, or how, you know, this works really well for a new problem. How it fits with an existing challenge or something that you've been working on for a while is, you know, let's say you're looking at your connections on LinkedIn and you had one strategy, you know, look at your schools that you've attended, your workplaces you've attended, add all the connections you know from there. Maybe that got you to a certain level of success, you know, let, let's just say an arbitrary number of 500 connections on LinkedIn, but you want to take it to the next step. Well, going through the same process, it's probably not yielding the same kinds of results as maybe it once did. By high marking for, let's say, a week or a month, and trying as many different strategies, now you find the new strategy that's gonna work at the level that you're at. These things don't work across the board. The strategies you might implement to get your first 100 connections on LinkedIn are not gonna be the same strategies that you use to get your thousandth. And it's the same with weight loss. You know, After you've been going, you found a strategy that works for you to get to the gym for six months, maybe you're getting diminishing results again and you wanna switch it up. These are the key times when you want to use high marking. And it's also when you, you don't want to use it. Once you find that one thing that's working best, use it. Go after that strategy for a longer term. 
and set yourself maybe a three month or a six month check-in to do a little bit more high marking to make sure that you're still getting the best results that you can. So that's high marking and how you can use it. And I'm interested to hear about how you've been using it and other, other ways that you're adding to this strategy. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Cade Murphy, Leadership Coach. I hope to catch you next time.